so guys uh, this is the this is actually the tallest banana here it's actually fruiting at the moment so we have about uh, eight bunches coming from it it's quite the the highest number we've had it's actually the highest number we've had from a banana plant in this farm so we have about eight bunches from this variety this is the maximum it can actually give as a variety so this is a cavendish banana and we can you can see we have a couple of other ones that are actually fruiting morning some of them are ready for harvest some of them are gearing and getting ready for harvest so you know the last time we talked about how and why you should live in salt soccer so this salt soccer this is a salt soccer and this is the best soccer to actually live for your banana plantation if you want to replenish or if you want to leave a soccer that, that, that will actually take over from the mother plant this is a salt soccer this is a salt soccer and this is also a salt soccer so this is the best soccer to actually utilize in your farm why they give you the best yield and they grow very fast this soccer is less than three weeks old you can see but if you have a water soccer that is this height it should be around two months or three but a salt soccer less than one month gives you this height so you can actually use salt soccer to uh, keep your farm going so this is a good salt soccer as well this banana this soccer is about uh, uh, less than two months what's up guys this is stagro farms i welcome you back again of course you might be wondering what happened why haven't we posted for such a long time we apologize so if you look behind me you will see our newly planted banana suckers we told you we we're gonna bring new variety and we did so this is one month after and they're doing absolutely wonderful this is about uh, uh three weeks it's about three weeks old so you can see how well they're doing very well so this is uh, iron seed banana it's a very good variety here in the southeastern part of nigeria it has a lot a good market value so we discovered that some of our variety our old varieties were not actually giving us enough of what we're looking for that's what we have here so we have about 50 suckers planted and if you remember the last time i told you that you must maintain your spacing has to come in your spacing we used eight by eight feet to actually plant our suckers and they are doing absolutely well so uh, we are going to manure them it's not going to be today we've already done some level of manuring here but we're going to continue subsequently so we've manured we've applied manure and half of the farm we've applied manure half of this farm so we're going to continue the application in subsequent video we're going to show you how to actually apply your menu in our next video so let us show you around see what is going on so this is our field if you look behind me you'll see that uh, we have a lot of weeds to clear i've talked to some of our people that take care of the farm they will be here early this week to actually clear the weeds you can see they are actually coming out gradually that's one thing they don't grow at the same level they were planted at the same time but you know how this works how these things happen some are growing faster than others and some will catch up later and some might even be shooting out after one month but we don't we won't, we won't, we won't be waiting for them to actually catch up what, all we have to do is to do what we need to do so they're actually coming up bit by bit so let's let me show you around the farm and then also see how well other varieties are doing most of them are actually fruiting at the moment so let me show you okay 
this is a lettuce uh, fruiting banana this is cavendish banana so we can see one good thing about banana farming is that banana farming or plantain farming is all about garbage in garbage out your banana cannot give you more than what you actually give to it so if you planted your banana and then you've taken care of them they're going to take care of you by bringing out massive yield good yield that you will sell and then make your money or if you want to eat the banana that you can actually eat and then be satisfied so if you look behind me you will see that our banana here is actually doing well so you can actually know how well your banana will do by what measuring the stem okay guys uh let me let me quickly show you this can you see how can you actually see how large or how big the pod the pod is this banana is actually the tallest banana and the most well doing banana in this farm i actually decided to use this banana as a case study because i found out that last year during last year we planted a banana during july time and that was gearing towards the end of the rainy season and that actually affected our banana and i said that won't happen this year again so because we had to plant a new variety that i showed you earlier during may so and i actually noticed something about this banana because when the mother plant was still here the mother plant took a lot of manure took a lot of care watering and all those things so i came to understand that because we had the mother being taken care of or well taken care of it actually affected the growth of the daughter which is the soccer den this was the soccer den so when the rain came this year the, the soccer took off because it had a lot of manure buried before it to actually take and then move forward so that was, that was what happened here so it actually made the banana or the soccer to grow very quickly very tall and you can see the stem the stem is quite big the stem was actually measuring about three feet round so and i came to understand that one of course we keep telling you that your banana need a lot of organic matter organic materials and water so once they settle very well they are going to give you something good and if you look at here you see the bunch the pod i mean you can see the pod how big the pod is the pod is very large and we're expecting at least seven eight bunches from here and this variety again is that the variety we have here doesn't the variety we have here doesn't give us more than seven bunches and that was one of the reasons why we ordered for new suckers which i showed you earlier that they are actually a month old now so what we want to do is to transit from this one to the new variety we have to actually see what the new variety i want to see the new variety take over the farm and then get rid of these ones after now so you can actually see the spacing so the whole of the field is actually uh field with banana suckers but uh, due to the grasses you might not be seen they were they're actually growing bit by bit so and one thing you must understand that some will actually grow faster than others so they are coming out gradually some are still trying to shoot their uh, pods uh, but we're going to continue hello guys uh, you can see uh, the last time we made a video i told you we we're going to clear our new banana field is quite uh, woody so we've done our clearing you can see our banana that gradually coming out so these are the farm uh, caretakers these are my gardeners these are the people that take care of the farm so you can see they are gradually coming out you can see some of them are still very quite little they're still quite little but they're all gonna come up so 
So the, the, these ones here are going to be cut off. So we're going to get rid of these ones and replace and replace with the new variety we have here. And again, we have a, this is source up. Source up, we planted them newly. So we have one line dedicated for source up. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. We have about seven of them on this line. You can see them. So they're going to grow in line with the banana. So we're probably going to give them time to harvest. So. So a banana field, like I told you, it's about a month plus. This very field now, it's about a month plus.